I have set up my simple AD lab and today we are testing unconstrained delegation. What that is, is whenever a user needs to perform actions towards another service or machine, Microsoft has implemented delegation to allow that process. While that may be useful, when misconfigured, it can lead to domain compromise. We're gonna go through the initial steps of how to set up, then how to exploit, and of course, how to patch. So without further ado, let's go. Now the first step of course is to how to configure that thing. So let me showcase that now. First one of course is to allow SMB on my client side machine. That one is being done with the control panel. Then go to programs, then go to turn windows features on and off or, or off. Then scroll down a little bit until you find SMB one CIFS file sharing support. Click that, OK, wait the process, restart, and you should be good to go. The next step is to allow the firewall rules about that. So navigate your, let's say, firewall and here and turn Windows Defender advanced settings and then you're here. Then go to inbound rules and then search all the way down to file sharing and printer, enable that, 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 then the, the spooler service, that, 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 and you should be fine. So copy my settings, enable these rules on your firewall box, and that's enough. And we're talking about the client machine. So let me go ahead and navigate to my server and let's discuss what needs to be done there. On my server, I found that the firewall rules are auto-enabled and thus the domain control needs to work that way. You can, by the way, test your firewall rules if you go to any carry or any other box and do it with Netcat, so like that, and you can see the connection is being alright. And then here we need to check for specific things. So let me open up my PowerShell and the first one I need to check is that print spooler service. So get service, spooler, and we can see it's been running. Then we can go to security and that local security policy there. And then we need to navigate to local policies and then security options and then search all the way down to network, to network security, LAN major authentication level and thus click any of these. It should work. And so we need LM and NTLM response and I'm using that right now in the moment. Click apply, OK, and that's it. You should be fine now. You should be good to go. And it's time for our exploitation. Let's see how that thing behaves. All right, so the first thing before exploiting anything is, of course, knowing it's vulnerable. In other words, enumerating it. So what I'm going to do is get PowerView and I'm going to import it into my PowerShell. And of course, now I'm not going to focus on AMZ bypass, AV bypass, or any kind of proxy bypass, just the raw techniques behind this attack. So I'm going to see into desktop, but that, but that doesn't really matter. And then do IX new object net.web client downward string and paste the URL there. Now, of course, that's going to import the full power view inside my PowerShell session. And in order to scan for unconstrained delegations, you need to type get domain computer and dash unconstrained. Now let's take a look into the output and we can see two boxes are being there. One is being the DC01 and this is the machine account ending with dollar sign. And the next one is being client01. So it turned out that we are on client01 so I can go host name and we can verify that. And thus we know we can escalate our privileges and whatever move using that kind of attack. Now in order to perform that, I have a bunch of tools. So first, of course, we have Rubius and I downloaded the Ghostpack compiled binaries, that one. And then we have Spool Sample. Spool Sample is, as you can see, a POC tool to coerce Windows host authentication via MSRPRN, RPC interface. In other words, the printers. So the technique is really simple and all you have to do is first run Rubius in monitor mode to capture all the incoming tickets or packets authentication requests and then with spool sample we can curse the authentication and since the machine has some constraint delegation it just works. So I'm just gonna open a new PowerShell as administrator because Rubius needs elevated rights for that and I'm gonna see into users my user desktop and do Rubius monitor let's do interval 5 or 10 doesn't really matter and then filter user is going to be DC01 and don't forget the door sign because that's a machine account 
Then on that, and let's move the pane right to the left. Now that to here, and here let's utilize spool sample. By definition, spool sample is needing target and capture server. And here, just make sure to first troubleshoot your way out. So I was having some kind of a DNS issues, and you can do like NS lookup dc one or client one to verify the IPs are the same, it works fine, and in my case it is. If that's right, all we need to do is to specify the dc one here, dc one and then client one That's it. And here if you don't have the SMB request, it's gonna fail, and, the, and that's why it's important to enable SMB rules and then the SMB service itself. After running that, we can see attempted printed notification and received invalid handle. The course authentication probably worked. And right off the bat on the left hand side, we can see the tickets being parsed. With that ticket, of course, we can import and then take over the whole domain controller. Now let's talk about how to mitigate such attack. The one easy fix solution is to stop the spooler service because it's responsible for that printer remote procedure call and if we stop that service and then go back to my windows 10 client set up everything from scratch we can see that this time it doesn't really work now there are some cases where you might actually need that service in that case you may need to first limit network traffic second review your delegations between machines and see if each machine can delegate to specific service but not to all services on all machines and so on and thus i mean that's a pretty nice and quick patch i hope you liked that video i hope that was useful guys and i hope you learned something new if that is the case make sure to drop a like drop a comment and share your feedback it's all welcomed see you all in the next one